giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Hey. Uh, moving that was on to the next spot, it's team 2974. <laughs> From Marietta, Georgia and Walton High School, it's Walton Robotics. They have an overall record of 46 and 9. They were the winners, also winners of the Peachtree District Championship. So appearances in back-to-back -back weeks here on the top 25 for Walton Robotics. 2974 will finish ranked 15th heading into the Houston Championship. Um, Peachtree hasn't gotten much love um, over the course of the season, but as of late they have. Um, but this is back to back to back Peachtree teams for me um, as Walton Robotics is really shining bright in this area. Two, just, two district wins and a district championship is no easy task for sure. 2974 is a solid bot that can plow through defense um, and deliver game elements to the rocket and the cargo ship. They have 15 banners since going to districts in 2016, <laughs> um, which is just crazy. So that's like, um, what, four, five, uh, five a year and um is that right it's gotta be right four, but i think there's year, some yeah. like it's been yeah in four seasons so six, six, yeah four so yeah like four a year there's um i think some like uh woody flowers in there um and some other stuff but um yeah they're they're killing it on and off the field and just doing a really great job um from modern robotics so congratulations uh I'm number 15 here and good luck this weekend in the galileo division okay um, moving on to our 14th ring team. That's going to be team 2468. From Austin, Texas, Westlake High School, it's team appreciate 44 and 10 overall. And we're the winners of the Austin and Greenville district event. So after seeding second at their first event, uh, and first in Greenville, getting the win both times, 2468 set their sights, uh, sets their sights to make some noise at the, ooh. Wow. 2468 set their sights to make some noise at the FIT Championship. They ranked third behind 148 and 118, uh, but would eventually partner with 118 and 4063 to advance to the semifinals. Um, so 2468 has got the goods, and you can catch them in the Galileo division at the Houston Championship this week. So I think 2468 in the FIT um, district really got an opportunity to kind of shine and show what they show what they were able to do. Picked up two event wins, really competed well at the Fit Championship, and I'm really excited to see what they uh, what they're able to do in Houston. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I can't wait for two four six eight. I meant so guys, I mentioned this on the uh, Houston preview show, but I really want two four six eight to win their division uh, as vindication for not getting chairmans at the Fit yeah. Championship. Uh, mm -hmm. You know they did get EI um, and definitely well deserved for that. But man, were they my favorite to win uh, uh, champ championship chairmans this year uh, at Houston? And I would just love to see them just just come out screaming. This is one of the best robots they've had in their history of a team, and just see them just completely. Uh, take uh, their division now. I mean, going to be a, still a tough road uh, ahead for them to take Galileo, uh, but I'd just love to see uh, something like that come out of the gate. And it'd be so cool to see. Mm -hmm. For sure. Nice. Okay. okay. All right. Moving on. Uh, flying through this list, I guess so far here. Hey, we'll um, take it. Yeah. Is the third in the 13 spot? Is team 44, 14. From Ventura, California, it's high tide. <laughs> with an overall record of 31 and 7. They were the winners of the Del Mar and Ventura Regionals. Um, so we saw them, uh, we saw High Tide on the week one top 25, but our, our voters have not forgotten about them as though they will finish here at number 13. Um, can't quite remember the story with this team, but and maybe Chad can help us out. But this is their first year and first as a uh, 4,000 level team. So not sure if it was a split. I just can't remember. Um, I'm sure. I think we talked about it before, but um, yeah, they're, two, they're like a semi rookie sort of thing going on. Yeah. But that usually means they like split from a team or something, but um, I can't quite remember the story, but um, so two regional wins. Um, they finished first at Del Mar after qualification matches and second at Ventura, but we're taking number one overall there. 44-14 um, has a, a nice sandstorm mode. And the delivery of the hatches is just really nice. So, um, and they have also have a ground pickup, which is really convenient. Um, not very many teams um, have them and are using them, but um, teams like this, there's just those times when you know if they drop it right in front of defense, um, they can just pick it up and, and go. They don't have to go battle through do defense and then back again. So, uh, good luck on the Galileo field, the high tide, um, and congrats on your two top 25 appearances this season. So, uh, a couple comments in chat says it's the first year because they broke off a 39-25. But they used to be 7404, but then first changed their number because they broke off from another team. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> so maybe they like just started as a rookie team. And oh, then, I see. Then maybe they found out that they're. 
I don't know. But there is no. Oh, maybe they had the number but didn't use it because seventy four oh four doesn't have any results in yeah. uh, the blue lines. Uh, either way, forty four uh, fourteen, a very slick looking robot uh, and performs excellent. Of course, with the two regional wins, just completely blasting out of the gate. Uh, uh, to me, they're one of the favorites to win a division, no doubt, and Galileo as well. Uh, so, I mean, it could be a lot of fun. You take somebody like like them with two four six eight or a one seventy nine, uh, or of course nine seventy one, and I think there's you know those four teams there make a pretty interesting combination uh, of who's going to uh, seed uh, very high. And I, I think uh, this team forty four fourteen has a great opportunity uh, to do something like that. Uh -huh. Agreed. All right, cool. So that was forty four fourteen, ranked thirteenth. Justin is going to tell us about Team 179. From Riviera Beach, Florida, Inlet Grove and Suncoast Community High School, it's the Children of the Swamp, 24-4 and four overall, and with the winners, the South Florida Regional. After ranking third but losing in the semifinals at their first event of the season, 179 turned it on in dominating fashion at the South Florida Regional. They were the number one seed, going a perfect 9-0 and, and finished four RPs ahead of the number two ranked team. 179 with their friends 180 and 5872 would continue winning, not dropping an elimination match, winning the Blue Banner undefeated. It's been weeks since their last match loss and look to continue their winning ways at the Galileo Division in Houston. So good luck, Team 179, the Children of the Swamp. Man, that's what our like fourth Galileo team or something at least yeah. on this list. It's going to be uh, great. I love 179. Um, didn't get to when I was down at the South Florida Regional. wasn't there long. Didn't get to see them in an actual match in person, but. Um, just watching their gameplay, they're just, they're awesome. I love them. They're just so great. Um, and what they do, their hatch delivery is just awesome as we're watching here. And um, George from 180 is just was speaking the world of them. They see kind of just the fluke thing at um, Orlando with their exit and semis. And then, uh, as we just talked about, went undefeated in South Florida. Yeah. Just tearing it up. All right, we'll move on. Mm -hmm. uh, one more team here before our infamous top 10 and talk about team 2046 <laughs> from maple valley washington and tahoma senior high school it's bare metal they have an overall record of 64 and 6 and they were the winners of the pacific northwest district championship so this is bare metal's fourth appearance in the top 25 this year they took a semifinal at their first event which was auburn mountain view and from there just has been on a tear number one seed in double gold cling bling at west valley number one seed and winners at auburn and number one seed and winners at the Pacific Northwest District Championship. They have some great gameplay and have really have mastered that kind of spin move to get through defense. Um, just an incredible season for Bear Metal, and we just love seeing the love, love seeing the love for our Pacific Northwest teams. Um, another area that just kind of is underrepresented a lot of times, but um, is really uh, starting to um, see more and more of them over the last uh, year or so. And uh, good this good luck this weekend. They'll be on the turning field. Um, they're not too long ago from um, Einstein uh, being 2017. Um, and then just really goes to show you just how consistent um, and how good they've been the last couple of years here. So um, congrats to Bear Metal being here at number 11. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, 2046 is by far my favorite to win uh, the Hopper division. I think uh, their play has been phenomenal. We mentioned this in the previous show that uh, you look at the PNW championship and you have a team like 2910 who's, nearly undefendable with the crazy sword they have. So a lot of the defense coming on to 2046 and that team literally just plowing through in many opportunities and still being a, uh, a scoring force, even against uh, some at sometimes I've honestly ridiculous defense uh, against them. So really looking forward to 2046, you know, you can see them pairing up uh, with the previously uh, mentioned team uh, that was the, uh, uh, 4910, I'm sorry, East Cobb Robotics. Uh, they could even pair up with somebody like a 2212 Taters. Uh, many great, uh, 21, 22, sorry, uh, Taters. A uh, few teams in the Hopper division, I think, that are close to 2046's level. And I think 2046, uh, honestly, I think it's just going to run away with the division. Yeah, they have the about to do it and just an incredible season that they've had here. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.